Picture this. It's 700 BC, and ancient humans are using a simple magnifying glass to harness the sun's energy, igniting a spark that would kindle centuries of innovation. In the hands of these early innovators, sunlight became a tool, a weapon, a means to ignite the fires of progress. Legend has it that Archimedes even used a solar death ray, focusing sunlight to set invading ships ablaze. Fast forward a few centuries and we find the Romans, masters at the art of engineering, using solar energy in a different way. They constructed sunrooms, capturing the sun's warmth to heat their homes and cultivate exotic plants. From the ancients to the Romans, the sun has been a source of power and fascination, but this was just the beginning. Fast forward to 1839, when a young French physicist named Edmond Becquerel made a groundbreaking discovery. In the hallowed halls of France's Musée de l'Homme, Becquerel was experimenting with an electrolytic cell made up of two metal electrodes placed in a conducting solution. It was there that he observed an increase in voltage when exposed to light. This was the birth of the photovoltaic cell, a device capable of converting sunlight into electrical energy, a concept as revolutionary as it was elegant. Imagine for a moment the audacity of such an idea. The sun, that great celestial furnace, not just warming our planet, but capable of powering it too. Becquerel's discovery was an early beacon in the field of photovoltaics, a term derived from the Greek word for light, phos, and volt, the unit of electromotive force. The photovoltaic effect, as it came to be known, was a phenomenon that promised a new era of energy generation. Yet, it wasn't until over a century later, in the mid-20th century, that this technology was harnessed effectively for practical use. The significance of Becquerel's work, however, cannot be overstated. It was a defining moment in the history of energy, a stepping stone towards a future where our power could be drawn directly from the boundless energy of the sun. Becquerel's invention was a game changer, setting the stage for a solar revolution. As the 20th century dawned, the race to harness the power of the sun was on. In the heart of this race, Bell Laboratories made a breakthrough in 1954. The creation of the first practical solar cell marked a pivotal point in the history of solar energy. This silicon-based cell converted sunlight into electricity at an efficiency of 6%, a modest but promising start. With the advent of the space age, solar energy found its first practical application. The Vanguard 1 satellite, launched in 1958, was powered by tiny 1-watt solar cells and transmitted data back to Earth for over seven years. This marked a turning point, proving the limitless potential of solar energy in the realm of space exploration. Throughout the 70s and 80s, the focus shifted towards improving efficiency and reducing costs. The oil crisis of the 70s highlighted the volatility of fossil fuels and the necessity for renewable alternatives. This spurred significant advancements in solar technology, with efficiency rates of solar cells reaching upwards of 20%. In the 90s, solar power began to blossom in the commercial sector. Germany and Japan, in particular, made considerable strides in integrating solar energy into their national grids. By the end of the decade, the global capacity of solar power had grown to over 1,000 megawatts. As the millennium drew to a close, advancements in thin film technology and concentrated solar power further pushed the boundaries of what was achievable with solar energy. These breakthroughs allowed for the harnessing of sunlight on a larger scale, making solar power a viable competitor in the global energy market. By the end of the 20th century, solar energy was no longer a novelty, but a viable and sustainable source of power. The sun, a celestial body that has been revered and worshipped since the dawn of mankind, had finally been harnessed to fuel our modern world. The 20th century marked the beginning of a new era, an era powered by the sun. Today, solar technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. The sun, a colossal celestial entity, is no longer just a distant star, but a wellspring of boundless energy, harnessed by human ingenuity. Let's delve into the realm of modern solar technologies, where the fusion of science and innovation is continually redefining boundaries. Consider the strides made in efficiency. According to a recent study from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, scientists have developed a photovoltaic cell with an efficiency of more than 40%. This leap in technology is akin to swapping a horse-drawn carriage for a hypercar, 
propelling us into a new era of solar energy utilization. Yet the sun's power isn't just confined to stationary structures, it's also fueling a revolution in transportation. A report from the International Energy Agency highlights the advent of solar-powered vehicles. From cars to drones and even planes, these vehicles are no longer just figments of science fiction. They are tangible realities, moving silently on highways and in the skies powered by the sun. But what happens when night falls or clouds gather? Fear not, for advancements in solar storage technology have seen significant breakthroughs. A study published in the journal Energy Storage reports the development of cutting-edge solar batteries. These devices can store solar energy for extended periods, ensuring a consistent power supply, irrespective of the whims of weather or the cycle of day and night. Solar technology is not merely an alternative energy source, it is a testament to human potential and our capacity to harness the elements. These advancements are pushing the boundaries of what is possible taking us into a future where solar power is a cornerstone of global energy production. Perovskite solar cells are a revolutionary new technology with the potential to be cheaper and more efficient than traditional silicon solar cells. These cells are made from a special type of material called perovskite, which can be manufactured using solution-based processes, similar to how ink is printed. This makes them significantly cheaper to produce than traditional silicon cells. Additionally, perovskite solar cells have shown promise in achieving very high efficiencies, potentially exceeding the efficiency limit of silicon cells. Researchers are also developing hybrid solar cells that combine perovskite and silicon technologies. These tandem cells can potentially achieve even higher efficiencies than either perovskite or silicon cells alone. By utilizing the complementary light absorption properties of both materials, these tandem cells can capture a wider range of sunlight leading to increased energy production. Bifacial solar panels are a new type of solar panel that can capture sunlight from both sides of the panel. This is achieved by using a transparent back sheet that allows sunlight to pass through and be absorbed by the solar cells on the back of the panel. Bifacial panels can be particularly beneficial in applications where there is reflective light available from the ground or other surfaces, such as on rooftops or in solar carports. Solar energy is going to be a vital tool for any future space exploration and colonization endeavors. Here's how. Powering deep space missions, lightweight and flexible solar panels. Current rigid silicon panels might be bulky for spacecraft. Future advancements in perovskite cells or even organic solar cells could lead to lighter, more flexible panels that can conform to the curves of spaceships, maximizing sun exposure. Higher efficiency. As efficiencies of perovskite silicon tandem cells and other technologies improve, they'll generate more power from the same amount of sunlight, crucial for missions venturing further from the sun where sunlight is weaker. Self-sustaining habitats on other planets, deployable solar arrays. Imagine rapidly unfolding solar arrays on the Martian surface, providing power for habitats and research stations. Advancements in automation and self-assembly could make this a reality. Dust. Mitigation. Martian dust storms can coat solar panels, reducing efficiency. Technologies like self-cleaning surfaces or even vibrating panels to dislodge dust are being explored. Solar plus storage. Since sunlight on other planets isn't constant, think Martian nights. Combining solar power with energy storage solutions like advanced batteries will be crucial for a continuous energy supply. Space-based solar power, beaming power. Back to Earth. A far future concept involves gigantic solar arrays orbiting Earth, converting sunlight to energy and beaming it down wirelessly using microwaves. This could supplement Earth-based energy needs. However, technological hurdles and potential safety concerns need to be addressed. While there are challenges, solar energy research is constantly evolving. These advancements promise to play a key role in powering our future journeys into the cosmos. Solar energy has come a long way since those early days of magnifying glasses and sunrooms, from the ancient Greeks utilizing sunlight to ignite flames during warfare, to the Romans using sunrooms for horticulture, our journey with solar energy has been a testament to human ingenuity. The birth of the photovoltaic cell in the 19th century marked a pivotal turn, transforming passive solar power into an active, harnessable force. Advancements in the 20th century further refined these technologies, leading us to today's efficient solar panels and photovoltaic systems. These modern marvels are a culmination of centuries of exploration, invention and refinement. 
As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The sun will continue to rise, and with it, so too will our ability to harness its incredible power. What other renewable energy sources would you like to see explored next? Leave a comment below and subscribe to SciSips for future dives into science. All right, SciSippers, before you go hurtling back into the real world after this epic scientific odyssey, I want to take a quick moment to chat. Building this channel, bringing you these videos, and exploring the wonders of science with all of you is a blast. But to keep the scientific adventure going strong, your help is essential. Liking this video lets YouTube know you enjoyed it, which helps the algorithm share it with more curious minds like yours. Subscribing to the channel ensures you never miss a future science bonanza and lets you know when we upload new content. But the real magic happens in the comments. Leaving a comment, whether it's a question you have, a mind-blown reaction, or even a suggestion for a future topic, is like rocket fuel for the channel. It helps us understand what excites you and allows us to create even better videos that cater to your scientific interests. So, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of this wild ride through science. Thanks for joining the SciSips fam and until next time stay curious.